Hey, hey, so, oh, Sydney, share with us, please. Oh, I'll share with you. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a good weekend so far. Today, I will discuss a Scream 6 theory that I have. I've been thinking of reasons about why Ghostface or Ghost Faces would follow our new group of characters in Gale to New York, right? It's puzzling, really. The TV spots and trailer offer moments where Ghostface says to Gale, Hello, Gale. Did you miss me? We also hear Ghostface supposedly speaking with Gale and claiming that he or she is something different. Ghostface asking Gale if she missed him or her isn't an indicator that we have a returning Ghostface, but it could be. However, Ghostface called Sydney in Scream 2 and asked, Remember me? So it could just be that whoever this Ghostface actually is has studied how Gale is a repeat victim and survivor uh, so far to all the Ghostface attacks. Having said that, let's actually get into the theory I want to discuss. Motives matter, and I think this new Ghostface will have one. At least the mastermind Ghostface always has a motive anyway. The person with any personal motive to go after our new group of characters is Leslie Mocker, who lost her son in Scream 5. Not only did Leslie Mocker have a psychopath killer in her family, aka Stu, her brother, who supposedly died in the first Scream movie, but her son was murdered by a Ghostface killer as well. Looking back at Vince's death in Scream 5, it seems random and out of place, I suppose. But I guess Richie and Amber could have decided to kill Vince off to prevent him from interfering with their plan to kill Sam, Tara, Chad, Mindy, and Liv. They needed him out of the way, I suppose. So if Leslie Mocker has any motive, it would be to seek revenge for two deaths in the family. However, it's not the fault of Sam, Tara, Chad, Mindy, or Liv that Vince died, and Leslie would know this after the police investigated the events of Scream 5. Still, that doesn't mean Ghostface killers have to be rational. Often, they're impulsive, they're vindictive, and there's an emotional element involved. Look at how Mrs. Loomis wanted revenge and how she savagely killed Randy for bad-mouthing her son, Billy, in broad daylight and could have easily been caught. She still risked it. Look at how Roman blamed Sidney for the life he never had, as if that's Sidney's fault and that she deserves to die for th what he endured in his life. Look at how Jill just wanted fame and was tired of everyone talking about Sydney, and how Jill manipulated Charlie into killing others for her fake love towards him. Then we have Amber and Richie being stabbed franchise fanatics and wanting to use the daughter of Billy Loomis, aka Sam, as the killer to revive the franchise. Each Ghostface character has reasons but you're left to determine whether they're good or bad, rational or irrational. All I'm saying is Leslie might be out for blood after someone dressed up like Ghostface and killed her son. Or could it be Stu coming out of retirement after potentially surviving that TV injury and somehow beating charges of murder, conspiracy, uh, assault, whatever you want to say, and due to his family's supposed wealth, did some lawyers get him off on some charges? Think about it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and make sure to have a good rest of your weekend. Uh, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and stay safe. Thanks.